Hello, hi, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel, it's your girl Candy here, aka <laughs> your favorite brand designer, soon to be your favorite YouTuber. Give me some time, I got you. Anywho, as you can see from the title, today's video is going to be an Ossity scheduling site tutorial, because I see a lot of girls asking, like, how do you do this, how do you do that? And, like, they were asking me in my DM, but I'm just like, ah, it's just so much to explain, just whatever, bro. I'm going to make a tutorial, right? Right. Okay, so... Today we're gonna be making an Ossity site. I will be using Canva, so I'm trying to like mix the two worlds a little bit here um, by using Canva for the girlies who may not be able to afford a brand designer just yet. And also to show my brand designers how to do it, how to make sure you're sizing it right, all that good stuff and then some, okay? So if you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe. And if you old, what it do, baby? What it do? Okay, so after this point, I'm really just gonna go over to my laptop. I'm about to get this started. I don't wanna talk too much longer. And yeah, I have literally no idea what I'm gonna make <laughs> for this. I like to go into these videos with like no nothing because I really like to test myself and see like how creative are you, what you come up with, you know what I mean? So let's head over to my handy dandy laptop. Okay, so everyone's big question is, what do you size it? What do you size it? Now, personally, I feel like you can size it wherever you would like to size it because when you're adding it in, you'll see later in the video that like the actual sizing doesn't matter. Hmm? So I will also be showing you a trick. So you gotta stay to the end. <laughs> Yeah, like I did that, but no, I'm gonna show you a trick that you can literally size it in any size and we're gonna make it work. So for this, I think I'm gonna go with a 2000 by a 700 i feel like that's that's pretty that's mm, we're gonna make it a little bigger actually we're gonna sell 2000 about 1000 i feel like that would be great great right okay so for this we're gonna say we're doing this for should we say a makeup artist I feel like we should say a makeup artist. So this is gonna be like for a makeup artist, mind you. This is a faux brand. This is just something I'm coming up with off top. I will not be creating a logo in this, okay? Um, when it comes to logos, like I'm gonna make like a whole separate tutorial about logos one day. So that's why I have not made anything about a logo yet. Um, so we're gonna use this right here because I like these and I think that she looks really, really pretty. So just like uh in my canva how to make website banner videos we're gonna kind of follow the similar uh steps in a sense because again i really just need y'all to understand that no matter the field you're in the minds still work the same meaning no matter if you're in the hair industry or if you're in the makeup industry like a brain is going to function the way it is like there's a reason that marketing is like mostly science when you really look into it because the brains work how they work so i say all that to say that we're gonna follow the similar um tips that i said of basically like we're gonna have it a scannable that's what they like that's what they call it they call it scannable so we're gonna have like some words right here so maybe we'll put her brand name or we'll put like whatever little tagline or something like that really big we're gonna make it you know scannable readable just quick soon as they come to the Ossity site they already know what it is so it's like if she does hair nails and I don't know um hair nails and makeup then it could be like hair nails and makeup whatever whatever okay so I've added another one because this is we're gonna have section two, but we're just, we're, for now, let's just stick to the top. So let me go ahead and make the top. You guys can watch me work. And I will be back whenever I am done working. <laughs> and we're gonna go over this. I feel like a little, like a, like an elementary school teacher, like, okay guys, we're gonna read the book and then we're gonna go over it. But no, watch me work. And when I come back, we're gonna talk.
as you can see, we came up with like the top banner that's gonna be at the top. I mean, duh. Um, I originally wanted to go with blue, but it just was not working out in my favor. And I'm like literally still like making little changes as I speak. But originally I wanted to go with blue to match like what she already kind of had going on, but it just did not work out in my favor. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, you just gotta roll with the punches sometimes. I mean, if something looks better, then it just, it looks better. So <laughs> what can you do, right? So, all right, now that we have the top, we have Styles by Andrea. Uh, I wanted it to be a little cute, funky, and fun, so I threw in some just random clip art, some bobby pins. When I saw the bobby pins, I was like, oh my god. Oh my god. Like, <laughs> how could I not use these? Child, it's not like something running into my window. Anyways, I'm like, how could I not use these, right? Right. So, for this next banner. So, this is going to be where you put your policies and all that good stuff uh if you have like any rules or whatever this is where you would put them okay so i'm just gonna make some up from just what i've typically seen women say and again once i'm done we will come back but this is the part really where you just put the policies you put be on time be considering my time because i was a makeup artist and i still do makeup when i feel like it and that's the number one thing like people they never disrespected me all my clients shout out to all of them they always respect my time they always let me know if they wouldn't be late stuff like that um so i guess for this like i don't want to put in there come with your hair wash i feel like the girls will eat me up so what i am gonna say is like um because again i've never done hair so i guess i'll say something like you know be on time you know um i don't know get you that look it'll come to me a bit as i'm working because again like you know when you get the creative juices flowing it just it's just something about it just you know it works it just it works out for you so yeah this again this is where we're gonna put the policies and all that good stuff and once this is all done i'm gonna show like you the whole thing before we actually go to the austin site and put it in and i actually have an austin site because again i said like i was a makeup artist so i have one so yeah i'm gonna get back to work so yeah oh excuse me should i say watch me work watch me work <laughs> Okay, you guys, as you can see, I ended up actually changing this and putting her business hours and the fact that all services require non-refundable non deposits. <sighs> Some days I feel like I just don't know English. But anyways, so yeah, I ended up changing that because I felt like that's very important information. They need to know that at first as well as, you know, what they're getting into as far as blah 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 all right so for the next um box so this will be the box that we put the rules the policies anything of that nature that you may or may not have or your client may or may not have this is where you will put that now please keep in mind you do not have to follow this order exactly like this doesn't have to be you know uh 
what you do necessarily but I'm just showing you a just kind of like a blueprint for what to do how to size it how to get the images to fit on OCD and all that good stuff okay all right so again so we put the policy so I'm gonna change this actually to business hours because we're trying to learn to name our stuff as we go so this will be the policies we'll just say rules and policies because everyone has rules and policies that other people must follow okay okay so honestly again i'm just gonna try to come up with some policies um just come up with them on the fly once i'm done with this we will be back to discuss anything else i'm trying to make sure i covered everything here um i said any appointment requested and accepted outside of business hours there is an additional hundred dollar fee so that could be a thing you can add in like travel fees and stuff here um again just this is just so they know that's it okay okay Okay, you guys, so I put in a few rules and I also put in there like before all your styles, you'd be washed and blow dry by me. You don't like heating here, you know, keep it pushing. Um, super simple. Like, of course, you can fit more policies in there if you have more or if your client has more. But for the video's sake, I just really wanted to keep this like as simple as possible, but still definitely like super cute. So far, I'm loving <laughs> this i wish this was for me like this is so cute so the last one we're gonna do it's gonna be like a thank you for choosing me type thing you always want to make sure that like you or your client like thanks people for choosing them because it takes a lot to trust people with your money it takes a lot a lot for people to uh you know spend money with someone they don't know or just someone they admire they've been watching you from afar and they're just like okay now i finally have money i want to spend i don't want to get scammed whatever so i personally feel like you should always have like some type of thank you something somewhere i always like to thank people 
I'm always thanking people for everything, every compliment, every whatever. I thank people because people could literally just never say anything to you. They cannot ch choose you and all that good stuff. So this last one we're going to have is to choose your service below. But I left it a little blank because I'm still kind of brainstorming of like how I want to do it. But this is definitely going to be a thank you section. And I think I can talk through this one because I think I have an idea of what I'm going to do. But yeah, you guys, this is pretty much it as far as, you know, creating like an Ossity site and just how simple to really keep it. And I mean, I'm a, the queen of less is more. I am a firm believer in less is always more like you can never go wrong with keeping it super sleek clean and classy in my opinion like never i mean look at some of the greats oops i clicked the wrong button <laughs> look at some of the greats like look at some of their their logos their branding it's simple to the point timeless i'm a timeless kind of person i like stuff that's like you know, you may look at it like, oh, I want to revamp, but at the same time, it's like it still works. You get what I'm saying? Like it still works. It's just, oh, I want to revamp. I want to rebrand or I've outgrown this. OK, so since the top banner, we have her on the left side. We're going to put her on the right side this time. So we're going to say thank you. We're going to have a special like little message from Andrea. Andrea, how would I say that? Would I say it? Andrea or Andrea or Andrea I was kind of thinking Andrea in my head but anyways so we're gonna have which oh this is cute maybe we could flip this photo this is cute but anyway so again I'm going to edit let you guys watch me work and then once I'm done we're just gonna go over everything here then we're going over to the Ossity site for the fun part. But before we go to the Ossity site, I'm going to show you a little tippy trick that I learned or I had to figure it out. Because when I was trying to do an Ossity site, it just it wasn't working out my favor. And I was like, there's a solution to every problem. How can I fix this? And I fixed it and I want to share it with you guys. So let me get to work. <laughs> all right you guys so this is what we have okay i can't zoom out anymore to show it like all together but no worries because i'm gonna save it and i'm gonna show you what it looks like all together i'll probably insert it in this video like a scroll of what it looks like all together but pretty much after this you're gonna save your files okay whether you're working in adobe or you're working in canva just go ahead and save your files um, and we're gonna make the size bigger. We're gonna, I don't wanna go too big, so we'll just say 4,000 by 2,000, okay? So, while this is downloading, um, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go to another site. 
because if you have not worked with Ossidy yet, you don't know, but if you have, then you do know that you cannot put an image in there that is bigger than 1.5 megabytes, okay? So what I'm going to show you is 1.5 megabytes to kilobytes, okay? This will come in handy in a second. So 1.5 megabytes is 1500 kilobytes. So now we're gonna go to an image resizer website. It's literally called Imager. No, it's not Imager Sizer. It could be, it could it be Imager. Imager Sizer is like Image Resizer. I think it's Image Resizer. I, I'm, I'm not going, okay. Anyway, so we're gonna go to Image Resizer, okay? So But we're gonna put the top banner in, okay? The top banner, it shows up, right? So to resize this image so it will fit for sure. Um, matter of fact, you know what? We're gonna do 1.4, so it'll be 1400 because 1 1.5 I believe is the max. So we'll say 1.4 just so it'll be under to secure that this will work, okay? So width and height, do not do anything to this. Do not do it by as a percentage by dimensions and then that what you're gonna go to is i was thinking of something else that's why i kind of said it like that <laughs> what you're gonna go to so, is right here target file let me go size ahead and extract my files really quickly okay. i know you guys can't see so we're gonna put in 1400 and then all resize of my files now. okay so the image has I'm been resized to... as you can see it looks okay, the same all right Still so now we're gonna hit select the original image, size course, you know, you and guys then the new size this. and then all that right Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna resize all of the images and then once I am done, we're gonna head on over to the Ossity site. Okay, so once you log into your Ossity site or your client's Ossity site, it should look something like this. Okay, so as you see today, is actually January the 7th. You will be seeing, this is definitely like way pre-recorded. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna come to customize appearance. It's gonna take you to appearance. Now, as I told y'all before, I was a makeup artist and I was just playing around with this, honestly, just to see what it would look like. I still have my old appointments and stuff like that in there, so don't mind those, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna insert that top banner and we're just gonna continue to insert our images okay we're just gonna insert the images in the order that you would like them to be now why would y'all do that i hate when i'm like filming and something wonky happens oh okay there we go and make sure that you click before the image or after the image to insert or take away like a line or whatever. So that way it's seamless when the clients come to as like, okay, perfect example. You see right here how there is a space. You just go to the before, hit backspace. Now it's together, okay? Then you go back over to the other side and then you add in the image, okay? So the last one is the thank you one. same thing also you can do a little if you're into seo you know get your seo on you can also add a title to this and add a link whatever you want to do okay so that's if you have like another business outside of this or something like that whatever okay so we're just gonna make oops my bad my bad sis relax relax don't disappear on me okay so we're gonna save this matter of fact no we're not gonna save this <laughs> I don't wanna save this on my own personal account. No, I'll go ahead and save it. So we're gonna save the changes. And now we're going to view the scheduling page. And this is pretty much what it will look like. I'm gonna zoom in for video's sake, just so you guys can get like a overall view. But here we go, the styles by Andrea. All right, and it says choose your service below and it's choose your appointment, okay? 
so that is pretty much it on that um the imagery sizer was like the little tip that i wanted to show you guys because sometimes well all city you know basically says 1.5 it cannot be over 1.5 so um just use that website at any time it doesn't have to be for Ossity, but just use it at any time it's super duper clutch it will take any picture that's super big and resize it but like not lose you know any of the quality or anything of that nature so i really like how this turned out i don't think i can make my background black because i don't have a a premium account but for premium accounts for this you know instance right here you can make the background black you can make it red yellow whatever i think the premium is like 15 dollars a month something like that but again i'm not doing makeup so i don't need it but that is pretty much that on that okay all right you guys and that is pretty much that on that it's super easy super simple it's honestly just about being creative and having fun with it in my opinion um you can really make an Ossity site anywhere. You can make it in Canva. You can make it in Adobe. You can make it in Affinity Design. Make it wherever. Um, it really doesn't matter. If you are not a creative, I would highly recommend hiring a brand designer. And if you're looking for a really good brand designers, I know some really dope females who can get you right, okay? So hit me and I'm gonna hit them, you know? You know? So thank you so much for watching this tutorial. We made it all the way through. Let me know if you learned anything or if you already knew about the Image Resizer website or that you even had to resize the image or whatever. And let me know if you want to see another Ossity tutorial for, I don't know, um, an esthetician or a makeup artist because uh, I can do myself since I am a makeup artist. Um, yeah, so let me know. Also, last thing before I go, when it comes to sizing recommendations, um, I did 2000 by 1000, but please keep in mind, like I said, if you use the imagery sizer, you can literally use whatever size, you, I mean, whatever size, not site, whatever size you would like to use, whatever works best for you and just resize it. If you would like to use, like if you want to create one entire like block, uh as far as the height goes i don't know exactly what i would recommend for that because it varies depending on how much information you want to put in and all that stuff like that but width i would definitely go with 2000 for the width for sure so at least do 2000 and then just let the rest flow don't put too much pressure on yourself about these sites and again as you can saw as you can saw as you can see in the video i did a lot of trial and error that's what design is trial and error literally just trial and error until it looks good that's it i have a rule of thumb if it appeals to me then it's gonna appeal to someone else i don't think too deep into it unless we start talking about marketing and all that good stuff like i always want to keep my key market points in there uh when i am designing but at the end of the day you know just remember what appeals to you will appeal to someone else so don't get too wrapped up in it all right all right y'all i will see y'all in the next one i've been up since 4 30 this morning i've been up since 4 30 it's 10 49 a.m still in the morning okay so i woke up early just to just to get this out for you guys okay i had to wake up get ready eat set up all that stuff i've been recording for over an hour my voice is kind of scratchy but i love y'all so let me know if y'all want another tutorial like this specifically Ossity. if you would like me to do um i don't know some more web banners whatever just let me know and yeah i will see y'all in the next video bye I'm a man of the world, 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 I